I think that rosé is a really, really important wine to make and wine that should be taken very, very seriously as it is in the south of France and that it is a wonderful food wine. It pairs with a variety of dishes, particularly here where we're just blessed with so much wonderful local farm produce with tomatoes, corn, with summer fare. When it's crisp, when it's dry, when it's light, when it's lower in alcohol, it can be an absolutely, it can be the best possible pairing with wine where you're not looking for, you know, a heavier weight Chardonnay or, you know, you're not feeling like a red wine. It really straddles that middle ground well when, when made well. It can be as complex as any white wine in the world. I fashion my rosés um, not just on the French model, but on the Provençal model, um, where uh, the grape is treated with the utmost of respect, as in Bandol. Uh, we have one block at our vineyard of 120-year-old by Morved, which is sort of the grape of Bandol. Um, and I figured that if you treat it with as much respect, like they do in Bandol, then you're going to come out with a great wine. Uh, in Bendol, they take the grapes, um, they crush them, they put them immediately into the press. So they're actually made for rosé. It's not a matter of saignée, which is the other way of making rosé, which you bleed juice off of grapes that were picked for red wine. Um, and they put them into the press, and then you know they come out with something that's really delicate, that's really vibrant, and is absolutely singular um, in and of itself.